Now what we're going to do in this case is I've got the vinyl loaded in here and I'm going to push back this lever and then set it down. What that does is reinitialize the cutter. And up here, I've got some options. Number one is roll uh, one sh rear sheet. That's what we're going to do. Uh, if you had just a regular sheet of vinyl without the roll on it, you could choose other options up here, as you'll see in the, in the video here. So when I press number one on the control panel, it will then initialize, and it's going to measure between this push roller and the one on the other side. Pulls the vinyl over the eye here and then sets it so it's ready. So right now the uh, panel is ready for cutting. There's also, when it's ready, there's also a couple of other nice uh, options here. Uh, after you've cut something, if you want to pull the vinyl out quickly, you could actually click number two here. And what that will do is actually pull some vinyl out. You could do that several times if you needed to in order to get to your vinyl. So you don't have to use the up and down arrows over here. And then number three is home. So that will always take you back to your original place right there. Uh, we'll talk about condition, which is E. That's uh, over here in just a minute. But those are some nice options for you to take care of when you're uh, actually finished cutting things. Now if you need to set a new origin point, let's say you have some scrap in here or if you just need to move that cutter head somewhere, just use the arrow tools over here. Just arrow one way or the other. I'm going to move the head over this way, the cutting tool, and then I'll move it uh, back or forward. I'm going to move it forward. So let's, let's just pretend, for instance, that we've used this part of the vinyl here and we just want to move the knife blade out of the place. Well, if we send a job right now, it'll go back to the home and that'll get in, you know, cut over the vinyl that we already have. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right up here to the top and click on origin and that's going to set a new location for that cutter. Let's just, let's just click that. You can hear that beep there and the, the message up here is new origin set. So now that's actually the new location for my next cut. So you can control that pretty accurately. Again, just move your uh, cutter head here wherever you want to place it, just like this wherever you'd like to place it, wherever is appropriate. Click the origin and it will automatically set that as the new origin location. Now, let's say that we've uh, finished our job here, or uh, this, um, you know, maybe we need to, uh, there's some scrap here in the front, or we just don't like the way condition of the vinyl right there. So we, we can set the new origin like this, but if we want a nice straight edge on our vinyl here, there's a great feature up here, it's called cross cut. Uh, just click on that button, and what will happen is the uh, menu will come up that says cross cut OK, number one is uh, cut and number two is cancel. I'm going to click number one and what uh, the cutter will do now, it goes to the edge here and initiates the cutter, comes to 
about the middle and cuts in that direction and right here. And that gives a nice straight cut on the edge of your vinyl right there. So that's a good thing to know as well. Very easy to use. You also saw me uh, moving the vinyl a little bit earlier. I was using the down arrow key here to move that vinyl out. And you see how slow that is. And that's good because that way you can be more accurate. But if you ever have to move that fast, there's actually right here a fast button. Now I'm going to hold that down and then I'm going to press the down arrow. And you'll see that moves a lot faster. This is great for testing you know, the, whether the vinyl is running in there straight or not or just moving it quickly over long lengths. That's a great thing to do. And then, of course, real slowly here, you know, down or up, or fast. So you can use that to uh, position that vinyl back and forth as you need it.